Hello and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sora Darkchild, and welcome to a two-part finale of Let's Play Time Spinner. Last time we took on, well, two separate different versions of the second-to-last boss battle, as well as two other boss battles in this new dream realm we were brought to because we gone broke time. Oops. Too many paradoxes. So, all that's left to do now is to take on the so-called Sandman himself. And equipped for my arsenal of three orb combinations, I am equipped with the Nether Orb, the Blood Orb, and the Forbidden Tome. Two out of three we got in this uh, dungeon area here. After fighting two interesting bosses, the Nether Orb, we fought a boss that was called the uh, Raven Master, I think, and the Forbidden Orb. Believe it or not, that boss was called Ifri. That was interesting. But now that we got uh, all of them out of the way, it's time that we got moving and. I'm going to use the uh, Oculus Ring on the Blood Orb setup. That way I can find any last minute uh, hidden items as we move on. Whoa. You! You've got a lot of nerve, Dreamling. Don't talk like you're so much better. Her, you wouldn't be this powerful if not for me. If not for her, you've caused me a lot of trouble, girl. So I hear. The messages you've left behind. I'm amazed it took this long for you to destroy reality. I didn't do this, you did. And I'm here to change it back. It is that what the dreamling to is that what the dreamling told you? Well, no matter. You are but a shade here. This is my realm. Here, I am a god. I am all that is, and all that will be. Not if I have anything to say about it. I am all-powerful, girl. Well, you've ensured that. I... The dreaming of may have ensured your continued existence, but it won't be for long. Well, that's somewhat sad, but true. Let's give, uh... Let's start with the Nether Orbs for their ability in the against the enemy. I'll check up there in a moment. Huh. The way to the inner chamber is blocked. Real clever, Sandman. I guess we're gonna have to find an alternate route to get in there. Okay. And I think before I do... We got more readings to do. Basically, the 11 letters and the 14 downloads. For this first half, I'll do the, uh... Letters, and for the second half, later... I'll read all the downloads. Yeah, both these parts are gonna be a long video, folks. What do you expect? It's the finale. Joel Kyle, head of the Thaumetrical Studies, University of Holter Province, Villa. We have concluded our Thaumetrical Thaumetrical analysts, 
of the portal and the world beyond. We have confirmed that the Luckheim, our sister world in the sky, untouched by civilization, is it abounds homes with life, at times to a dangerous degree. See Apex Hex B Magnifuna. It is rich with natural resources. Unfortunately, Lackheim also completely lacks the presence of plasma in its atmosphere. As soon as our team moved beyond the portal, its effects were felt. The longer we stayed, the more pronounced the systems. Symptoms. We have called this disease the bleakness. It weakens our auras, creates fatigue, heat and irritability, pain and weakness. I fear that prolonged exposure could result in death for some consistence. Therefore, despite the rich potential of the world, it is with great regret that I must recommend for the safety of our people that the portal to Lockheim not be used. We will continue to study the ethereal flow of the portal from this side. So, this has something to do with the resources on the bleakness. Interesting. The prime etiquettes of Tonvoltelris, first emperor of United Villite, powers of the aura are our birthright. The gift of a plasma. Those with magical abilities are the natural apex of the race. We seek to improve ourselves and our auras through research, alchemy, exploration, and experimentation. Those with powerful auras are natural leaders of the people. Those with powerful auras shall be raised by the magical elite as is their rightful place. Those who defy this, his new order, will be sentenced to Lockheim to live out their lives deprived to the blessed hid plasma. Though through magic, our world is made whole. We are the people of all Villite, one world, with one purpose under one leader. Letter of reference to Elena, to the court of United Villite. To whom it may concern, I am writing to recommend a place for my student, Elena. Among the court wizards of the capital, we discovered Elena 13 years ago during a scholarship recruitment tour through the Undercity. Although Elena was born to low-class parents with no attribute, she manifested the most powerful aura after being placed under duress. As mandated, we took her and trained her in our Royal Academy. She quickly took her teachings and proved her skill and talent beyond most of her young age. Further, she is a compassionate person, a diplomatic speaker, and a fierce believer in the potential of the United Hidvillites. While she still has much to experience, we must learn to better control her temper. We believe she would be a valued member of the court, and could prove to be an important politician in years to come. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out. Sincerely, Therina the Red, Headmaster of Weiner Royal Academy. Declaration of Lakami Independence to the Ruler of Villai. As of this day, I, newly crowned Queen Philia of Lakheim, declare our world hold 
an independent nation, no longer under the preview of Vilaitian control. You may have sent us here as prisoners, but Luckheim is not our, your colony to control. Left ungoverned, we have chosen to govern ourselves. We reject your face facid regime. We reject your aura centric miracracy. We reject your dominance. We believe all are equal regardless of strength of aura. We believe all deserve life despite the harshness of it without plasma. We will fight for our rights and our lives. We will thrive here. Lockheim will be powerful. Let Villay always remember how their cruelty led to our ascendance. Queen Villa, first sovereign of independent Lockheim. Ooh, this just got interesting. I should have read this before fighting that other boss. That second boss was before breaking time. Emperor Voltilius. Terrorless. I know I have only been an advisor to you for a couple of years, but I hope you will hear me out on this recent issue of the so-called Independence of Lockheim. Your instinct will be to lash, lash out in retribution against the Lakhami. After all, do prisoners get to declare independence from their jailers? Of course not, but that is all Philia is trying to truly do in making an empty statement. Independence means nothing within the walls of a prison. They may state such, but they still remain on Lockheim while we control the only portal to and from it. The walls of the prison, if you will. Never nonetheless, the population of Lockheim has been growing, especially since your most recent security and justice decree. While I don't believe that Lakami to be a true threat after all, those few with auras are weak on that world, given enough impetus. They could organize an attempt to strike back against us. Any conflict, no matter how much in our favor, will result in some death, not to mention further unrest among the people. It is thus my recommendation that we allow the Lakami to believe in their independence and not to strike back against this more. Sincerely, Elena. Elena. You are her naive if you think hint that allowing these Lakami to believe they have truly escaped my ear by declaring some kind of independence will prevent eventual strife. The more powerful they think they are, the more likely they will indicate conflict. They are, after all, a world of criminals. However, I have no need to antagonize them directly. We are powerful. They are weak. If you truly think they will remain peaceful, I invite you to visit them. Go on an ambassador. Go as an ambassador and see how they respond to diplomacy. You, you will see that it is hopeless. And when you return, I shall be prepared to strike force to remind them and our citizens who hold the holds the power. Vt. Ilya. I have sent this letter under the guise of a diplomatic missive. I hope it reaches you safely. To put it simply, I miss you. Since returning to Vilite, I have been able to think of little but our time together. Our talks in the gardens, the dinners under the sk blue sky, 
your warmth in the cold nights. Even the early signs of bleakness were nothing next to your touch. You have opened my eyes, Philia. Now that I am back in Villa, I begin to see those I never saw before. I live in such an open environment, I did not see the oppression that lives beneath it. How the very culture works to hold down these without auras while blinding in the upper classes to their struggles. How their needs are invisible to us. It is not simply a class of hereditary. They are treated as less than human. Meanwhile, we seek to exterminate them to altogether. The magic class is socially forbidden, and from the feature fraternizing with those without, let alone the, have children with them. We are breeding a more powerful race of magic users. Like Voltaireless ter is simply wanting for the rest of us to die off or killing those who don't die off fast enough. Voltaireless is powerful and concerned only with his power. He will be no recollection. There will be no recollection with Luckheim, nor victory in conflict. However, I will see what I can do in the courts. Perhaps I can find a way to make things easier for you. I hope construction of your castle continues to go well. I miss you. With love, Elena. <laughs> Emperor Volterilis. As you know, I recently returned from an expect from an extended diplomatic mission to Verlite despite your reservations. To put it simply, the sheer numbers that have been sent to Lockheim as part of your etiquettes on public safety made the formation of their society inevitable. It is a human drive to survive, and the Lakhami have begun to work together her to do simply that, despite their suffering. They are like it. They are. Like it or not, a fully functioning society independent from our control, and without subjecting our own people to the bleakness, they must remain so. However, I believe the existence of the Lakami society can be of benefit to us. We still are able to remove the undesirables from Villa, and there will be less unrest among our citizens if they know the criminals have some hope of life beyond the portal. Furthermore, when Lakham was first discovered, it was noted that to the rich in natural resources, plants to colonize were halted only because of the bleakness. But Queen Philia's society exists now regardless, and that means those resources are now available. I propose a treaty with Lockheimi to trade their for their resources. We gain their benefits with none of the human costs. In exchange, we can offer them plasma pods, allowing them to m my medicate the worst of the bleakness, allow them to live more comfortably, such as we can better profit off their labors. There is benefit to accepting their society, Emperor. I hate to waste it. I'd happily continue as an official ambassador, if you dreamt it appropriate. Yours, Elena. It is Year of the Sisters, 47. It will now be known as the Year of the War, the Year the War of the Sisters began. I hope this record will survive as a testament to history. I return to Lockheim to officially deliver Voltaireless's refusal 
of the treaty with Queen Philia. In truth, I had no intention of returning to Villite. Volterilus has proven that he is only concerned with himself and his own power. In fact, I am the new princess of Lockheim. Having been married to Queen Philia in a, bowl, in a brief ceremony, we will rule Lockheim together, and better than Volterilus ever did Villite. Unfortunately, it became clear that he, that would mean war. I was resistant, could not simply try to live separate from Villite. But Philia has been here far longer than I. She understands that there is no peaceful existence under the Phasis, even if she he is on another world. But we are, we were at a loss. How could we, with so few auras, and so weakened by the bleakness, hope to fight against Volterlis's army? Even the passion inspired by rebellion would not be enough for our ally soldiers. It was in the depths of despair and anger one night that the immortals appeared to us. I understand them to be powerful spirits, manifestations of magical energy, perhaps pure auras. They offered their help. It wasn't an easy decision, but it was a necessary one. One with their help would... One with their help would we have a change against Villite. They have given us power. They have given us hope. The War of the Sisters. We do what we must. Princess Elena from El of Lockheim. Oh boy. Emperor Volterilus, I send this message with Queen Philia, rightful ruler of the independent Lockheim, to augment, augment her ent entry, entreaty for peace. I offer to come in her stead, be given our history together, but she believed it important to represent her world herself. I hope you recognize the honor in that. We have taken control of the portal between our worlds. As you have seen, we have strength, we have allies, we have learned to survive on this world. We will not fall even to bleakness. If this conflict continues, thousands more will die, and you will be no closer to stubbing us. We entreat you, let us end this now. We are still willing to negotiate an arrangement, like I suggested those years ago. Some of the vast resources of Lockheim for plasma from Villite, a manually beneficial arrangement. Please listen to Philia. She is wise, and she wants only peace. Don't take, don't make the same mistake as before. Princess Elena of Lockheim. Oh boy. Elena. No, you are the fool. Lockheim belongs to me. You are but prisoners. Do not forget that. You are not expect for her to be your dear Philia again. And do not expect to see your poor dear Philia again. She shall serve as an example to those who would defy me. Emperor Harant Volved Earless of United Villite. Oh shit, that does not. That was not good. So that's why the War of the Sisters happened. Because of a tyrant who was too blind to listen. Well, now. This should be interesting. Now, let's work our way through this place. The 
devil is that thing? Can I get by them? No, I can't. Not when I'm freezing time. It doesn't affect them. Of course it doesn't. There we go. That's one way to get rid of them. And I'm not too worried about the enemies, so I'm just gonna dash right through them. Ow. Ooh, health up, thank you. Okay, can't go that way. That's a long fall. I'm surprised she didn't break her ankles. Hello. Let's see. That wall's breakable. What was that that fell? Dream Wisp. A weightless piece of candy. Gives experience to a quitted familiar. Ooh. Uh. Eh, what the heck. Let's give it to the dragon. Let's keep moving. Another one. Nice. Jeez, there are a lot of these things here. Thank you for going the wrong way. Now there's something we can use. Let's see. I need to change my uh, button settings here. Let's see. Set you to that. Oh yeah. And that would be useful if that was her uh, recovery for Smash Brothers, if she becomes a candidate for that. Now then. How high will that make her jump? Wow. Nice. Look, a portal. Let's see, is there any place in... Yeah, there's one room I didn't check in here, so... We're gonna use that. Teleport to the other side of the, uh... Temple. And check out that room. And I'm guessing that's all of the, uh, all that's left of the, uh, place for upgrades and everything on all three maps. Still need to complete this one by going to the final chamber.
Okay. Now then. This one file I'm doing right now is after defeating, uh, what's his name? Nuvius, Lunaris' father, after defeating the younger version of him. So, let's see what we gotta do for this. You can't hide forever, Sandman. You delude yourself into thinking I have to. You've made me powerful, Lunaris. My mark spreads across reality. I am a god. So I hear. Fixing everything in my wake, is that right? But then you just, what, gave up? Threw it all away? Sounds like you weren't good enough at your job. How dare you! I am a god! I am one of the Ascended! Sure, you... Yet here I am, and I want to my universe back. So I guess this is Deicide! I am trapped inside the boss. Not phrasing, it's actually happened. Until he disappears or knocks me out. Or that. Well, it's the final boss, what do you expect? First try? I don't know how I was supposed to get out of that. Without freezing time. Let's see. Oh, that's doing a lot of damage to him. And now he's an hourglass. Ouch. Ooh. When the number's in the red, you know that's his weakness. And apparently, the blood orbs were his weakness. Whoops. Did not meant to go down like that. And I'm guessing because he looks undead, we're gonna need light elemental items. Am I right? Let's find out. Oh yeah. That'll do it. Man, that's cutting it close. Let's see, uh, high potion. Gotcha!
What? You are powerful, Lunais. The universe cannot exist without someone to protect time. And the Sandman is gone. Am I... ascending? What am I? Don't you get it? Hit Lunaris. You became a goddess of time. Lunaris is gone. You are the goddess of time. You are the ethereal mother who has appeared throughout the ages. But the universe, the Sandman destroyed it. Ironically, he did not have time. It's all still there in his realm. Time has been restored. I restored it. The Ethereal Mother restored it. The greatest sacrifice I never existed, but in exchange, I could fix it. The ultimate time messenger, I suppose. My trusting calling. My truest calling. My friends, my family, would be okay. I'm glad it's over. The war? It's hard to know what changed. Everyone lost their appetite for it. Even Harrisel. At least... He's you all didn't lose your actual appetites, or I'd be out of a job. We can thank her for this piece, I suppose. If you're the religious type. I'll thank her for something else, too. Looks like we got everything you coming, Nell? Yeah, one minute. Start building the site for the stranded villainites. We can take the Ethereal Mother. We can thank the Ethereal Mother for this piece. Eternal Mother for this piece. Harrisol, I understand you have volunteers to lead the effort in rooting out the demons that remain? Yes, Your Highness. The Goddess has inspired me to do what I can to help rebuild. Thank you. You will form a joint task force, then. The first step towards reuniting our peoples. To all of you, I know this has been a rough few years. I never anticipated this War of the Sisters, and it's as it's being called. I never wanted it. But it's over now. Oh, it's time to build a strong nation. A powerful one. One day... We may reunite with our sister world. I want that to be on a good day. My love, we will make a better world for you. Luckheim is a tranquil place. I made sure of that. Resetting contact with Villa it was peaceful. This time, they still explore the universe. Devolve in its secret secrets, I can see, but for now, knowledge, understandment. The Eternal Mother guides their way. I guide their way. The universe has the happiness I never could. Mama, have... she has your eyes. Is she designed after you? No, my dear. This is the Eternal Mother. She watches over us all in- Watches over all time. The myths that- The myths say that once she taught us the gift of time as well. Some of us were heroes, but that time is no longer. Is long over. Maybe she designed me after herself. The Eternal Mother is the guardian of our people, just like I am to you and your siblings. 
And maybe one day, one of you will be for our clan as curling mess messenger to the other cities of our world, and maybe beyond. But we have seen peace for many generations. Hopefully, you will never be needed, and we can be a, a family together forever. I like that. Now give thanks to the Eternal Mother, like I taught you. Thanks for your protection and love, oh goddess. Ah, our little dragon friend. Now, let's see if it's the same after taking out the other guy.